hi everyone welcome and welcome back again to my channel in today's video guys i have a comparison video for my uh wallet on chains my chanel wallet on chain actually the comparison guys is uh which one is better uh with or without base shipper if it's really worth it to buy a base shipper for the wallet on chain or just make your own base shipper so guys as of now this one has a base shipper so i choose the pink one and i paid 1999 pounds like almost 20 pounds for this so i want to take this out guys before a and also what uh if it's it's the same amount even even though this one has a base zipper or without it so this is the one i purchased online and look and see it's not really perfectly made and i feel like it's been ripped off to be honest with you and i choose a pink because i want to match uh, my bag so this is what it is guys and oh my god to be honest i go to be honest with you like I'm not very happy that I pay 20 pounds for this and then only like a cardboard. I will show you guys the one I made. I'm back. So this is the one I made for my Chanel reissue, the vintage one. So I made this because even though I, look at that, it's not perfect, but nobody can see it anyway. What I did, guys, I just cut a cardboard and also just measure it to bag. And I have this like a, folks uh, leather i just what i did guys i just flipped the other side so i use this smooth part over here so that's what it looks because if you use this leather part maybe it's gonna melt and you don't want to stick that in your bag so uh it's better to use the soft one in here so that's what i did guys so yeah might as well to make your own rather than buying a like worth 20 almost 20 pounds like 1p difference for uh, to make 20 pounds so yeah this is the base shipper i buy and actually when i purchased this it was like this at first so that's why i decided to you know decided to uh buy a base shipper because everybody said oh it's better to have a base shipper now i know that you can make your own so now i'm trying to make a base shipper for my uh evelyn uh 16 so let's start with this guys uh, what if it's same amount of um item with or without the base shipper so um i can see guys i didn't remove all the car, um, paper in here just leave it in that because i'm gonna use all my card holders in here so here's my chanel 19 key pouch let's see guys i just the compact powder i don't think the compact powder will put in there guys if i bring this um lipstick i just want to make sure which ones actually more can fit in um coins coin purse and then uh perfume perfume will not fit with this one i just carry like this one over here so this is what it looks like it's actually packed everything but i don't know if you can add more in here i think you can add if you want to but for this video i will try to uh put everything let me see guys if i have a hmm so I have a compact powder from Sisley. So I'm just take this off, guys. Just transfer this with the other one. I make it like a readjustment for this. Even though I put the compact powder, but I'm struggling to put the lipstick. So what I did guys, I just put on top of it. So it still have space, but 
you can put a cash in here because it has two this compartment in here and also has compartment in here and if you want to change the coins you can put the chains in here in the zipper compartment so let's close so this is the item that without the beige shipper guys this is what it looks like as you can see it does really stretch out the bag and i don't really like that wrinkle there but this is what it looks like now to be honest with you i have a color transfer in my bag this is the one like i said there's no base shipper so i want to put the base shipper guys in the same amount that you can put on there and i thought i will try different ways as well that which one is that you can um so push all the way in so here's the base shipper in there same thing put this one okay pouch compact powder oh it's still the same amount guys it's still the same as you can see this is the one i'm <laughs> telling you guys that it's still same amount and I have to pay another extra uh, money for this i want to try to put this one for no it won't fit in here guys so uh, i'm gonna try the tissue so i add the tissue in there so i think the same item anyway even though i put the tissue in there is so yeah it's still the same amount guys i add tissue but even though the other one without the base shipper but they still have a space on that side so I bet they are the same amount to put in there. So let's try it a different uh, ways. Guys, I removed the base shipper again so you can see that the tissues actually fit in there. Guys, I am struggling to put the compact powder in the base, uh, if the base shipper is in here because it will stack. When I put it, guys, it will stack over here. So oh my god that's it's better that i'll show you guys what i'm talking about guys so at least i just want to show you again that even though i put the tissue in so i'm showing you what i'm talking about so See guys, it's against. See guys, it's against in that thing. So what I I don't like that. So what I did, I just squeeze, push. It's like it's more. I stretch out more the bag on the side because of that one. So yeah yeah it's still same amount but let me remove that before my final thought for this one guys it's my final thought for this uh uh base shipper with or without base shipper guys i think it's like a waste of money when you buy a base shipper it's just rather to buy something <laughs> save that money for and make your own base shipper because the one i buy with like um you can buy amazon like i said you can, i buy this box uh uh fake uh leather from amazon and just buy a glue and everything like that cardboard is free because you get so much cardboard at home so yeah and the one thing i don't like is that the base shipper is with the base shipper it make my bags treats from here because it make my bags uh, less uh, guys sorry if you hear that noise had to fix the the road at the moment and they will stop a while ago now they starting doing it again so sorry about that so anyway guys I try to make a quick and finish this. so like I mentioned that it stretch out the side of my bag and like a, and also that it makes the bag uh, put up some uh, less item because it, it occupy 
the space because of the base shaper so yeah it make your bag uh, stand up in a way and have a sp uh, shape but to be honest with you guys it's i rather make my own or not having a base shaper there you go guys that's it for my video today i hope this is helpful if you have wallet on chain and so yeah it's to help you decide whether you buy a base shipper or not so for me i will not buy another base shipper i rather make my own so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye